It, it, it was important to move from the cut and sew maze procedure to uh, utilize energy sources to ablate the tissue in order to simplify the procedure. As I mentioned, the cut and sew maze procedure is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, uh, surgical procedure uh, in the adult population. And being so, uh, many surgeons as well as cardiologists and patients were reluctant to have the procedure. So it was a, an immediate need to simplify the procedure. Uh, by having new uh, um, uh, ablation devices um, uh, back in the late 90s and, and during the early uh, 21st century, uh, we were able to move from the cut and sew procedure to device-based maze procedure, meaning that you uh, apply the same lesions without cutting the tissue. The immediate impact of, of such an approach is that, that, that you have a much quicker operation with less trauma to the tissue and you can have the same results. Now the trick here was to um, be able to copy the procedure one to one in order to have the same results. And therefore some of the lesions were modified a little bit in order to facilitate the ablation devices uh, activity uh, or impact on the tissue. Uh, um, but um, uh, it was done without any uh, major consequences in, in, in uh, operative techniques and actually uh, it is done on a daily basis uh, when we operate today. Alec, what, what does that mean for the patient? It means that if you are choosing to perform the full maze procedure, your uh, requirement for the heart-lung machine support uh, is not as extensive, so the time on the heart-lung machine is very relatively short. The procedure time was cut from about two and a half to three hours to about one hour net, and, uh, and uh, therefore uh, 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 this operative course is much smoother. And of course, if you can done it through a minimally invasive approach, patient can go on much quicker. And in matter of fact, our uh, um, uh, minimally invasive uh, maze procedure patients are going home rather early, the second or the third uh, postoperative day in most cases.